Um, I have just finished A Vision of Fire by Gillian Anderson and Jeff Robin. This might help you get some idea of how this book reads. This book has got X-Files written all over it. I don't know how much of that is subconscious on Gillian's behalf, but it's very, very much an X-Files episode, which is no bad thing, because as we know, the X-Files produced some amazing storylines, and this would quite happily fit in. This is A Vision of Fire, which is book one in the Earth End Saga. It's a trilogy, and so I've now got to go and pick up book two. And it follows Caitlin, who's a child psychologist, as she tries to piece together what is happening with um, an ambassador's daughter uh, at a very tricky time in the history in this book. Um, it's set probably round about now-ish, I would have thought, certainly the near future. There, there are references to events that have happened very recently. Um, obviously, the, there's a big tension in the world going on in this storyline. And, and basically, things are looking pretty bleak. The, the world is kind of on the cusp of a war breaking out and the war's going to have a major effect for everybody else. And somehow the ambassador's daughter, Manic, um, she appears to be having visions, violent visions, and is speaking in tongues and is not making any sense uh, even in Caitlin's experience. What she is seeing through this child and what she is experiencing with this child is not what she's normally encountered. And there's a bigger play going on here. Um, as I say, think X-Files when you read it. Um, we've got the, the character details going on with Caitlin and her personal storyline and personal journey going on. We've got a, certainly there is a supernatural or paranormal element also wrapped around this storyline. And there is um, a secondary storyline that is linked to the main one Weaven, weaving between um, what we read with Caitlin and it's it's really interesting actually because I can't tell you too much without spoiling it it's very much one of those stories that you go in and you learn with your main character and you're given just a little bit of background info to put pieces together yourself but you're also made aware that actually this is part of something a lot bigger and we haven't been given, given everything yet and um, I think it's really well done. There is some switching from one chapter to the next, but it's not every chapter. We do stay with Caitlin for a lot of it. She is the main thrust of the storyline. And um, I suppose if this was an X-Files episode, she would be the scully of this story. Um, she's obviously grounded in her, her knowledge. She's a very intelligent child psychologist. She works very, very hard with children, um, helping them through trauma. And she's very knowledgeable, but she's also, you know, this is, this is the world I live in. And to be suddenly experiencing something outside of what she knows, she's more open to it than sort of early seasons of Exile Scully would be. Um, but she's still got this kind of hot on this this just doesn't make sense and then when the evidence starts to point her in that direction then she goes with it and and goes with the flow which is is quite a nice way of us getting to know who she is as a person and also us experiencing what is happening as well and building up the pieces together um like i say it is part of a trilogy so not all loose ends are tied up in this but the main storyline, you could say, well, that was an episode for this season. And then imagine book two we see later on in the same season. And then book three will probably be in the next season. It's kind of one of those stories where its main story is told, but there is enough going on around it to justify coming back and revisiting um, the plot lines, as it were. So I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very straightforwardly written, the characters were nicely drawn, and it's certainly a very interesting concept what is going on in this book. You certainly um, start to consider things that you wouldn't normally consider. Um, 
which is an interesting idea. What I will say, if you are expecting something radical, then you're probably not going to get that from this book. Like I say, it. I hate to keep saying, but it is very much an X-Files episode. It feels very much safe. We have this problem, it seems scientific, and then something paranormal, supernatural starts to be discovered and, and shows its head. Um, it, it's very much of that kind of strand of storytelling. It's no bad thing. It means you know where you're going to head with this, sort of. But there's no big shock surprise going on. Um, certainly, it's an entertaining read. It didn't take me long to read. And at just under, I think it's just under 300 pages. Yep, just under 300 pages. It's not a heavy weighty tome either. You know, it's, it's got a natural point where it finishes. They've not tried to pad it out or fill it up with anything else. It's got its natural point. So I will be picking up book two in this series, which I have no idea what it's called. Actually, I should have paid attention to that. Um, and seeing how things progress further. And I would say if you enjoy the X-Files, if you like the kind of paranormal supernatural element coming into our world you know a world that we very much recognize then you'll probably uh enjoy this vision of five by Gillian anderson and jeff robin i hate the way his name's so pale you can barely see it but he is there honestly um very entertaining opening a chapter to a trilogy if you like x files go and read it um certainly give it a go it's not like i say it's not a big heavy tome so you'll get through it quite quickly and it's quite an enjoyable read. Right, as always, my social media links are in the description box down below. You can find me on Goodreads, Twitter and Instagram. I'm currently doing the Uncritical October book challenge on Instagram. Um, just hashtag and find it. Uh, but it's all based around fandoms and we're currently on book three, which is Breaking Bad or Book Addiction. Most people who know me say I already have a book addiction. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye.